Hey guys, Jim Bounds with Co-op Motor Works and uh, Motorhome Rehab Ranch on Patreon and this is my I'm off the road. Whew. What a ride. You know, <clears throat> the, I wanted to have a, a little talk today about motorhomes of course, but <clears throat> it's a motorhome. You know, we spend a whole lot of time putting in new parts and new things and and we, you know we've spent so much time on parts and things I just drove from Tucson Arizona to to uh, San Antonio overnight and then I dro then drove to Orlando and then two days later Janie and I got in the truck and drove to Atlanta and back Delivered a motor. Man, that's a lot of driving. And I tell you, I haven't done it in a long time. And it made an impact on me. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't a GMC. And that made more of an impact. You don't know what you, you have until you miss it. Okay? Now you wonder, well, there's all those motorhomes out there, and they're, having, they're doing something. So why is the GMC such a big deal? Well, look, those other motorhomes, people use them, okay? We were driving a 2001 Airstream 30-footer. Uh, it went 66 miles an hour, and it did real well with 66 miles an hour downhill. Boy, that thing get like 80. But if you hit bumps, you don't sleep in the back. Bumpy, okay? Nice smooth road, it was nice. And again, sitting the cruise on 66 miles an hour, my dad was a Greyhound bus driver. I could get in the tunnel before I could drive with a bus. <laughs> and there's something about it when you're on the road and everything's working and you're in that tunnel and the people that have done it know what I mean. When you get in that tunnel and, and you're a piece of that motorhome and you're just rolling. See, that's what it's about. And a GMC is a dream machine. Back in the 70s, they said, what's wrong with the motorhome? Ah, that thing's noisy. They made it aerodynamic. Ah, the thing's all over the road. They made it low to the, the ground. Center gravity's 34 inches. Said it bounces around a lot. They put this tandem wheel thing in the back and it was front wheels. Said, well, you know, it, it's hard to turn in town because it's so long. They made the suspension drop and come up so you can turn tight in town. So <clears throat> you look at some other coach out there and they're going along there. They're okay. You know, he's, he's doing all right. But you can hammer that gas and pass him and slow back down if you want to. He can't do that. You can turn tight in town and get in a small gas station. He can't do that. Your wife can go lay on the bed while you're driving. He can't do that. These are the things. That's what makes it a dream machine. Unfortunately, it's a 45-year-old dream. And even this 2001 Airstream ran good. Had a workhorse 454 engine in it and ran great. Dash air conditioner didn't work. I mean, dash heater didn't work. Now think about that. Dash heater from Tulsa or from Tucson in the winter. The living area electrical system, <clears throat> the power converter died. 2001 is 20 years old. It died. We lost the living area electrical system. The rear air condition, both air conditioners had heat strips. 2001, the rear one worked, the front one didn't. I got the generator running by jumping it, but we still didn't have any 12 volts, so the furnace wouldn't work. We had one 5,000 BTU roof air in the back, blowing heat, and I'm in front with all my clothes on, all right? But we made it. It was fun. I got in the tunnel. I enjoyed it. I was 66. I found out the sweet spot, and I had a wonderful time on the road. You guys with your coaches, <clears throat> we've been working on them two, three years, you know, you've been greasy underneath it, you've 
gone to sleep and whacked your head when you woke up underneath it. Don't forget why we're doing it. We're not doing it because it's just a cool motorhome and all that. And that's true. It is. <clears throat> Guy buys one because it looks really neat. Then he drives it home. And if he makes it, he's in love with it. Why? Because it was such a great ride. That's why we're doing this. That's why somebody would spend $200,000 on a 45-year-old motorhome. Because it's that dream ride. Okay? So don't forget that. You're in there greasy and, and you know, in the interior and running wires and, you know, you cut yourself and you go, wow, this is terrible. Remember, keep your eye on the focus. Get on the road. If your coach will drive, go drive. Make you feel better. It's a great thing. You should be proud to have one. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is a little short video, but it was a, it was a big impression. Going on the road, um, what was it, 25 hours from Tucson? Great in the desert. I like it out there. Of course, my, my lips <clears throat> um, were cracked. I got a nosebleed from no humidity. I'm, you know, I'm a Florida guy, you know, warm. I need to be in a fishbowl with water, you know. But it was cool to go to an area like that, to see an area that had no grass. In Florida, if you don't mow the yard, the weeds will take over the grass. It's wonderful. This, this country's fantastic. We've got a set of roads that we need to use them, and you have the dream machine. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again. Have fun.